In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to trim the beginning, end, or both of a Zoom Cloud Recording in eClass from your Cloud Recordings tab. First, navigate to your LTI link for Zoom and click on Cloud Recordings. Next, click on the Cloud Recording you wish to edit. You can click on either the two files or on the name itself. Before we progress further, please make sure that you are signed into your Zoom account. To check this, you can go to zoom.us, click on My Account, and make sure you are signed in. If not, please sign in. Next, return to this screen. You can right-click and reload or refresh this page to confirm that those settings have taken hold. Next, click on the recording itself you wish to view and edit. Next, you can click on the set playback range with these scissors. This message will appear. And using these arrows, you will be able to go back and forth either by one second, click and drag them, and trim off the end or beginning of a video that you have recorded for your students. Doing this may be something you wish to do before you post the recording to your students, and that is a suggested method. This can also be done in post, but we suggest taking a look at your recordings before you publish them to your students and making sure that there's nothing in there that shouldn't be shared. But if there is something at the end or beginning that you want to trim out, say just some side conversation, you can do so by the steps provided. Click Save, return to eClass, right click and reload. And the next time you see it, it will be the trimmed version and it will show this amount of time for you and your students to view. According to the message shown earlier, again, if you click the scissors, this message will appear. Since students can download the original file, they will see the full length video without the edits you made. If you wish to have something that is strictly to the size that you did, we suggest not having it available for students on eClass by not clicking the publish button. As seen here, and then publishing it either on YouTube or in your Google Drive for students to view. That is only for if something is specific to a student and is something that does not need to be shared with the rest of the class. This also may require a third-party tool other than the Zoom editor shown here. Please reach out to it.support at msmc.edu for their suggestions on third-party editing tools for videos. If it is just side conversation, that is more than fine and to your discretion. Thank you for watching.